Okay, um, hello everyone. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed the talk so far. My name is Yu Hao Zhang. I am a researcher from the Stanford University. I'm very excited to have the opportunity at the Healthcare NLP Summit to talk about Stanza, our latest Python natural language processing toolkit, and how to analyze biomedical and clinical text with the Stanza toolkit. Now, before I start, I'd like to first acknowledge my collaborators and colleagues, Peng Qi, Yu Hui Zhang, Jason Botton, John Bauer, Professor Chris Manning, and Professor Curtis Langlotz, whose efforts have contributed substantially to the materials in this talk. In today's talk, I hope to cover the following topics in detail. I will first give a quick introduction to the Stanford NLP group and the Stanford Amy Center, which are, at the, which are the research groups that jointly create the biomedical and clinical model packages in Stanza. And then I'd like to delve into Stanza by introducing the design of the Stanza NLP toolkit and its neural architectures. Next, I'll talk about how we extended the original Stanza functionality to the biomedical domain and create the biomedical and clinical model packages. We will also talk about how we evaluate the performance of these biomedical and clinical model packages. Lastly, I will talk about how to use the biomedical and clinical packages by showing you some simple examples. I hope that by the end of this talk, you will learn that Stanza is an accurate and easy to use toolkit for analyzing biomedical and clinical text. Let's first talk about the research groups behind Stanza and its biomedical packages. The first research group that I want to introduce is the Stanza NLP, uh, the Stanford NLP group. As you may know, the Stanford NLP group is a research lab focused on language technology research, and is jointly led by five Stanford faculty members: Chris Manning, Percy Liang, Dan Jarofsky, Chris Potts, and Tatsu Hashimoto. The group currently has over 50 students, postdocs, and staff members, including undergraduates, master, and PhD students. The group's main focus is to conduct exciting research in the area of natural language processing and create publicly accessible research, uh, resources for research and applications in this area. Over the years, the Stanford NLP group has created several popular and widely adopted toolkits or software packages. Among them, the most widely known one is the Stanford Core NLP Java library, which is one of the most used NLP tools in the world and has powered numerous research and industrial applications since its release. Another great example is the GLOV word vectors, which has also been the foundation of many deep learning NLP research work. Then we have Stanza, the more recent Python NLP toolkit, which will be the focus of my talk today, and many other research papers and software packages over the years. The second group that has made the Stanza biomedical and clinical uh, packages possible is the Stanford Center for Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Imaging, or the so-called AMI Center. Stanford AMI Center is a big interdisciplinary research group with over 100 affiliated faculty members and many students, postdocs, and research staff. You can check out more information about the AMI Center at amy.stanford.edu. The AMI Center has focused on conducting research in the intersection of AI and medicine. A big part of that effort at the Emmy Center is to create shared resources for research in AI and medicine, for which a couple of examples are shown on the right. These resources also include Stanza's biomedical packages, which we are talking about today. I hope that gives you some quick knowledge about the Stanford NLP group and the Stanford Emmy Center. Next, before we delve into the processing of biomedical text, I hope to first give an overview of the Stanza toolkit with a focus on its motivation, its neural architecture, and multilingual performance. In the last few years, NLP toolkits, which are able to process and annotate text data, have been incredibly useful uh, for research and industrial applications, and has been used extensively by academic and industrial users. As a result, many existing NLP toolkits are highly optimized 
to produce an accurate annotations for English text. This example here shows the output from the dependency parser in the Stanford Core NLP toolkit. However, performance of these toolkits are often compromised when they are expanded to cover other major languages. And frustratingly, as rich and diverse as human languages can get, it has been very difficult to access the processing capabilities of these languages through a unified framework. So why is it difficult to create NLP toolkits for different languages and domains? Essentially, there are two problems that together have held back the availability of good multilingual NLP toolkits. First, for years, there have been very limited multilingual, multi-domain linguistic resources, especially for languages that are less spoken or for domains that are more difficult to annotate, such as the biomedical domain. Second, even when new resources are available for a language, adapting existing toolkits to this language has been difficult because existing toolkits heavily rely on handcrafted rules and patterns. For example, here it shows just a small fraction of the patterns used in the English tokenizer of the core NLP system. These handcrafted rules, while being useful and robust, make it extremely hard to generalize an existing library to different languages and domains where the rules needed can be completely different. To overcome these limitations, we created the Stanza Python NLP toolkit based on two central design choices. First, we created the syntax analysis pipeline in Stanza by making use of uh, the recently introduced universal dependencies formalism and datasets, which provides high quality linguistic annotations for more than 90 languages. Second, we designed Stanza to have fully neural pipeline with functionality ranging from tokenization to dependency parsing. All modules in the pipeline are trainable, which makes adaptation to a new language or new domain much easier. Besides these two properties, the full neural design of Stanza allows us to release pre-trained models for a total of over 70 human languages, covering more than 100 datasets. We're also able to generalize to different domains, such as the biomedical and clinical domains, which we will cover in detail later. And finally, Stanza also features a Python client interface to the widely used Java Core NLP library, allowing easy access to Core NLP with minimal Python code. So what does Stanza provide as an NLP toolkit? At a high level, the Stanza neural pipeline can be split into six individual components. A tokenization and sentence segmentation module, which splits input into tokens and sentences. A multi-word token expansion module, which recovers the underlying syntactic words from a token. A part of speech and morphological features tagging module, which predicts the syntactic rules and features of a, of a word. A lemmatization module, a dependency parsing module, and finally, a name entity recognition module. Let's first take a look at the tokenization and sentence segmentation module. Unlike most existing NLP toolkits, which use rules for tokenization, Stanza models tokenization and sentence segmentation jointly as a character sequence tagging problem, which is realized by a lightweight neural network. This network first encodes the input character sequence with a bidirectional LSTM, and then predicts whether a token or a sentence needs to be split at the current location. This design makes this module completely data-driven and end-to-end -end trainable. Next, let's take a look at the multi-word token expansion and the lemmatization modules, which largely share the same architecture design. The multi-word token module expands a row token into multiple syntactic words and makes universal dependency analysis easier for many languages. At the core, we model both tasks at sequence-to-sequence -sequence language problems. For the model word token module, we first use a dictionary to cache all frequent mappings from a token to its underlying words. And when the dictionary fails, a neural encoder-decoder model will take over and decode the syntactic words from the token. A similar architecture is also used for lemmatization, where the lemma sequence is decoded from the neural representation of a word. 
Now, let's take a look at the dependency parsing module, which shares a similar architecture with the part of speech and morphological feature tagging module. For parsing, we implement the deep biasign neural architecture. This model first encodes the input with a bidirectional LSTM. Next, a head representation and a dependent representation are learned for each word in the input sentence. Next, the head and dependent representations of each pair of words are compared with a biasign attention layer, which then produces a similar a scalar score that models how likely the two words form a syntactic relation. A similar biasign architecture is used for the part of speech and morphological features tagging module. Lastly, let's take a look at the name entity recognition module. For this module, we implemented the neural byte LSTM CRF tagger enhanced with character level language models as in the Flare framework. This model first runs two character level language models over the input character sequence, one for each direction. The language model outputs are then concatenate uh, concatenated with word vectors to augment a standard by uh, LSTM CRF model. By pre-training the character level language model a massive amount of text, Stanza's NER model can achieve near state-of-the-art performance while maintaining low memory footprint and reasonable speed. So that wraps up the main neural components in Stanza. It is these neural network architectures that allow us to make Stanza models available for many languages and domains. How do the general Stanza multilingual packages perform and compare to other toolkits? Which benchmark Stanza against popular toolkits on both the universal dependencies datasets and various NER datasets we train our models on? On syntactic analysis tasks, we compare Stanza to UDPipe and Spacey on the labeled attachment score, or LAS, as stand a standard metric for evaluating dependency parsing systems. Here, we focus on an end-to-end -end evaluation setting where all toolkits need to perform word and sentence segmentation from raw text before predicting the correct syntactic analysis of sentences. As can be seen in the plot here, Stanza achieves a very high LAS score of about 76% when aggregated across 100 tree banks uh, in more than 70 human languages and significantly outperforms existing toolkits for all of the main languages shown on the slide here. Turning to the general multilingual NER models, we compare Stanza to the Flare library, which is highly optimized for the NER task, and the Spacey library on various NER datasets in eight different human languages. We evaluate these systems on entity level F1 scores. As shown on the slide here, not only does Stanza support languages that were not considered by existing toolkits, but it also achieves competitive, if not better, performance on all languages compared to the best system. I hope that these comparisons have given you a quick understanding of Stanza's general multilingual processing capabilities. Meanwhile, it is important to know that for all the results we have presented, we provided pre-trained models for free download which are available for over 100 datasets covering more than 70 human languages and are still growing at this moment. To make our toolkit more accessible, we also built an online demo at stanza.run, which allows you to easily visualize how Stanza uh, is processing text in a language of your choosing. So that wraps up the overview of Stanza as a general purpose NLP toolkit. Next, I want to focus on talking about how the fully neural design of Stanza allows us to extend it to the biomedical and clinical domains and create publicly available packages in these areas. I will, talk, I will also talk about how we evaluate the performance of these biomedical packages. On creating the biomedical and clinical model packages, there are three main goals that have guided our exploration. First, flexibility. We hope that our packages can support and specialize for different genres of biomedical and clinical text that are commonly found. Second, performance. Similar to our general multilingual pipeline, 
We hope stanzas by medical packages can have competitive state-of-the-art performance, but at the same time, being fast to run on common infrastructures. And the third goal, but an important one, is the ease of use. We hope that our users can download the packages instantly and use them without frustrations. Most importantly, we hope that using biomedical and clinical packages can be seamless with any other models in Stanza and introduces no additional efforts. These design goals have guided us to create the following syntax analysis and name entity recognition pipelines. First, we created two universal dependencies compatible syntax analysis pipelines for biomedical literature text by making use of existing publicly available datasets and a syntax analysis UD pipeline for clinical text using a bootstrapping approach, which we will talk about shortly. Moreover, we created eight accurate contextualized representation-based NER models for biomedical literature text covering a diverse set of entities, and two NER models specialized for clinical text, including one created for medical records and a brand new NER system that specialized, uh, that's specifically created for extracting entities from radiology report text. For the biomedical syntactic analysis pipelines, we offer two separate choices based on two different publicly available biomedical tree banks, Craft and Genia, with Craft focused on analyzing full text biomedical articles and Genia focused on analyzing biomedical abstracts. We again benchmark these two pipelines against existing widely used syntax analysis toolkits, including a retrained version of Core NLP and a biomedical extension of SPACI named SciSpacy. Here, we're showing the results of Sansa biomedical pipelines on the task of lemmatization, part of speech tagging, and dependency parsing. On both the Craft and Genia biomedical tree banks, we see that Stanza has outperformed both Core NLP and SciSpacy on almost all tasks that we tested on. Next, the clinical text syntactic analysis pipeline. Creating a syntactic analysis pipeline specialized for clinical text is challenging. The main reason is that no public clinical tree bank is available for this domain, which has substantially limited relevant resources in this area. To solve this challenge, we have followed a bootstrapping-based approach and created a silver standard tree bank from the publicly accessible MIMIC3 clinical note database. Our approach works as the following. We first sample a collection of diverse free text clinical notes from the MIMIC3 database. We then tokenize and sentence split these MIMIC notes with the accurate and robust rule-based English tokenizer in the core NLP library. Next, we take the human annotated Go standard English web tree bank, which was created on general domain English web corpus. We use this general domain English tree bank to pre-train our general stanza syntactic models to derive a silver standard, uh, uh, our general English syntactic models, uh, including lemmatization, part of speech tagging and parsing and et cetera. We then take the pre-tokenized uh, pre mimic notes and apply our pre-trained stanza syntactic models uh, to create a silver uh, standard mimic tree bank. We then combine this silver tree bank with the large gold standard English web tree bank and use it to train our mimic models specialized for analyzing clinical text. The results of this training process are models that combine the robust core NLP tokenization performance with the accurate neurosyntax analysis capabilities in Stanza. We evaluate the end-to-end -end syntax analysis performance of our model on the silver standard clinical tree bank and compare it against a core NLP pipeline retrained with the same corpus. We find that our standard clinical models have outperformed the retrained core NLP model on almost all syntax analysis tasks, including lemmatization, part of speech tagging, and dependency parsing. Next, let's talk about NER. For the biomedical and clinical domains, we provide a diverse suite of pre-trained NER models covering various genres of text in these areas. 
This table shows the data sets and entity types supported by these models. While most of our models are pre-trained on publicly available resources, it is worth noting that we also release a radiology report NER model trained on expert annotated reports, and it's exclusively available for the Stanza toolkit. For these NER models, we compare their performance to the widely used site spacing models and the very competitive BioBert models, which are heavily pre-trained on very large biomedical corpora. We again find that on all data sets, Stanza's NER models outperformed the site spacing by a big margin and are very competitive with BioBert's strong performance, despite being shipped in much more lightweight packages that are faster and easier to run. Here, we present some examples of how these NER models run on commonly found biomedical text. This example here shows how our biomedical NLP, uh, our bio NLP NER model can extract gene, cell, chemical, organism, and etc. entities from a recent biomedical abstract talking about the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Here, it shows how our JNLP-BA and ER model can extract protein, DNA, RNA, and cell, ty cell type entities robustly from a biomedical scientific article. Here, this example demonstrates how our I2B2 and ER model can be applied to a patient record and extract all the problem test and treatment entities from this text. For example, our model has recognized uh, worsening shortness of breath, ankle swelling, and reduced breath sounds as clinical problems, while oxygen saturation and precaution are, are extracted as clinical tests. Now, this example here shows how our radiology report and ER model can be run on a chest X-ray radiology report and extract key phrases such as anatomy, observation, uncertainty, and etc. For example, the model has extracted within normal limits as a key phrase of the type observation, and the key phrase no indications of as the type uncertainty. Lastly, we want to understand the speed of standards biomedical pipelines by comparing it against size spacey, core NLP, and BioBert. This comparison is important for the practical usage of these toolkits. We show the speed comparison results here as runtime in multiples of size spaces runtime. For end-to-end -end syntax analysis, we can see that Stanza's deep learning pipeline is slower than size spacey on the CPU, but on par with it when GPUs are available. For NER, Stanza's biomedical models are even slightly faster than size spaces models when GPUs are used, and are much faster than the BioBert models. We hope that this provides useful information for you to understand the performance of Stanza's biomedical models. And for more details on how we created these models, we encourage you to check out our system description paper on archive. Now, for the last section, I want to show you how easy it is to use Stanza for biomedical and clinical text analysis. I will demonstrate this with some simple examples. First, Installing Stanza is very easy through either pip or anaconda. Simply type in pip install u Stanza or its conda counterpart, and you should have Stanza installed within minutes. After installation, you can simply write five lines of code to process text in any language that Stanza supports. First, import Stanza, then download the models of the language you're interested in processing. Instantiate the Stanza neural pipeline in that language, pass the text into the neural pipeline for processing, and read the result in the format of native Python objects. We have provided detailed documentation about what information is accessible from the output of the neural pipeline and how to access it. Using Stanza's biomedical and clinical pipelines is just as simple and easy as using the general English pipeline. The example here shows how to annotate a clinical text with the mimic syntactic analysis package and the I2B2 NER package that we just introduced in just a few lines of code. Again, first, you need to download the Stanza biomedical models with a single line of code. 
then you can instantiate a stanza biomedical pipeline with the same setting. Next, you pass in the text to the pipeline for processing. And at the end, you access the annotations through Python objects. So you can see that using the biomedical models really requires no additional efforts. Here is another example uh, of how to use the craft biomedical syntax analysis package. Again, you can simply download the model, instantiate the pipeline, annotate the document, and print the annotations. In the last example, running the print dependencies command at the end will in fact print the entire dependency structure of the first sentence as a list of tuples, where each tuple is represented as word, dependency head index, and dependency relation type. More than that, you can in fact print or access different syntactic or NER annotations very easily. In this example, if you print the document object, you will in fact see all the internal annotations being printed out as a lead list of dictionary structures. Or in this example, you can also print the entities attribute of the document, which will give you all the entities information as a list of Python dictionaries. For biomedical or clinical text analysis, it is sometimes useful to use a specialized tokenization tool to pre-tokenize the document and then use a different library for syntactic analysis. This is made extremely easy in Stanza 2. You can simply set a tokenized, pre-tokenized argument when constructing your pipeline. So right now, you can pass in a pre-tokenized document as a list of words, and Stanza will be able to run syntactic analysis or NER on top of this. Moreover, in the latest release, we spend a lot of effort making customization easier in Stanza. For example, we now have a feature that allows you to write your own processor or annotator and integrate it with an existing Stanza pipeline in just several lines of code. This simple example shows how you can write a dummy lowercase processor, which simply lowercase everything it sees into an existing pipeline. You start by registering the processor with the Python decorator. You then specialize and specify the requirement for this processor and its initialization function. You can focus on writing the logic of this processor in the process function. And then you can now integrate this processor into the pipeline with a single keyword. By doing this, you can write your own text processing pipelines and integrate it instantly with Stanza's existing pipelines. To help you play with Stanza's biomedical and clinical packages and run them on your text without the need to write a single line of code, we've created an online demo page at the URL stanza.run slash bio, where you can select your annotators and model of choice, input the document that you want to annotate, and get instant annotation results and visualizations for syntactic and NER analysis. Try it out on your text today. Lastly, Stanza's biomedical and clinical models are already powering our own research projects at Stanford. For example, in a recent paper that is going to appear at the NLP conference NACO 2021, we use Stanza to extract radiology entities from radiology report, and then use the extracted entities to check for the consistency and completeness of a neural image text radiology report generation system. We look forward to seeing more exciting applications powered by the Stanza biomedical models. Before I close, I'd like to share with you some resources for further learning about Stanza and its biomedical packages. Our homepage hosts extensive documentation about how to use Stanza. We also welcome contributions at our GitHub repository. We have made available a set of tutorials on how to train Stanza models on GitHub. And lastly, we have a collection of CoLab notebooks that you can interact with to learn about Stanza, which you can find on our website. Lastly, I hope you find Stanza and its biomedical and clinical packages useful for your next NLP project. And we welcome you to contribute to Stanza as our community contributors. Thank you.